On the eve of Super Bowl 58, you guys ready for the big game tomorrow? Yeah, me too. Guys, honored to be here with you in the USA Salute to Service Lounge. Thank you so much for your service. Thank you for being here today. We've got incredible talent brought to us by our friends at USA that have been doing it for over 100 years now. And next up, I see some Dolphins fans in the crowd. Put your hands together for Tua Tagovailoa! Tua, it is great to have you here. Obviously, it's a you know huge weekend for all the NFL fans in the room. I'm sure for you as well as you've been doing all the obligations with media and everything else. But uh, this room is special. There, everyone here has a connection to the military, and I know that you do as well. So tell us a little bit about your family's connection. Yeah. Um, well, first off, just want to say thank you to to all those who have served, um, all those who are still serving. Really appreciate what you guys do for us. Um, I think a lot of us take uh, take that lightly, um, and uh, for for me, I, I grew up in in a family uh, where on my mom's side, my uh, my grandfather, if if my my mom and her siblings weren't able to go to college, that he'd send them, you know, into the military. Now I have family members that are that have served um, in the Air Force. My my mom's brother's retired. Um, family members that are still serving in the Navy um, and then in the Army as well. So I, I think the thing that uh, for me that that hits home is the experiences that they've they've uh, you know got to have as they went out um, and you know served our country. Um, the relationships that they've created um, had had done something tremendous. And I think the one thing that uh, you know our world. Uh, here in the U.S., like a lot, of, I I think a lot of people don't understand what people in the military um, have, and I think that the greatest power that you know those that serve in the military have is perspective. Great perspective, perspective on life, perspective on relationships, perspective on not taking anything for granted, and uh, that's something that I've learned growing up, um, being around you know my my uncles, my aunties. Um, you know, my, my mom, my mom's parents, uh, who've, who've also served in the military. And uh, just very grateful for this opportunity. And um, I mean, this is the least that I could do in, in helping in any way to give back or, or whatever, but nothing that I can say up here or, or you know, do or try to do whatever suffice uh, with, with what, you know, you all have done or, um, you know, are continuing to do for us to allow us to do what we love. Um, and for me, this has been a childhood dream my entire life. And I wouldn't have this opportunity uh, if it weren't for you guys, uh, your family members, and then, you know, the future, uh, you know, guys that are, that are about to serve us. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you all.